Yeah, buddy. We're about to get to it. We got a load to pick up. I gotta ask you guys for a big, big favor. If, uh, you know, you clicked on this, I don't know if you're gonna stay and watch the whole video, but if you can give it a thumbs up, that'll really help me out. I'm trying to build this channel up and I'll be thankful for you guys to do that for me. I appreciate it. But today we're picking up Sunday night. I guess it's Monday morning, you know, a little bit. I'm doing some local stuff so we can get some fuel money to get a load heading out of town. Let's get to it. All right, we got us some fuel. Just enough to get us through the night. Just cause that long run we ran from uh, Ontario all the way to St. George and all the way back home off of what I put in for that trip, which are, that was pretty good. I was surprised that uh, I was surprised that got us home. So we're definitely was on E. So see if we can pick up this load a little early because we're working two trailers tonight. So we're actually going two miles for uh, 500 and some bucks because we're doing two of those loads at the same spot so our buddy Jay our buddy Jay is letting us use his trailer because he is doing a um, container load running a container load so he dropped this trailer and uh and told me i can use it so i can get two loads in which that's gonna pay for my like i said i'm gonna do these two loads and then i might just dead head up to california and look for a, a good paying load going out to either back to vegas or uh heading to Phoenix which I would like to come back to Vegas so, so we're going to use this as our little fuel to get up there round trip and our profit will be um, whatever we got coming back even though I would like to book a low head not there that's what i'm going to do but the worst come to worst so i don't find nothing uh later on today heading up there i'm just gonna i'm just gonna dead head up there I'm gonna find a low because i don't know unless i find something cheap going up there i might have to take a, a two dollar amount low now that i think about it when i Add it up, but I just still think, you know, just because it's $2 a mile doesn't mean that, you know, because they can be giving me a low for $400, $500, which would equal up to 200 or 200 $2 a mile, but, you know, it's only like 200 miles away or something like that. But that can take, you know, a day and a half just to complete that low. So it's like, I need a little bit extra because something like that is basically having my truck for a full day. And I feel if you have my truck for a full day, the minimum I should be getting paid is like, you know, six, seven hundred bucks. And that's for in town, that's for driving a hundred miles up the road, two hundred miles, like you got my truck for a full clock basically, four fourteen, you know. We gotta charge people if it's under a certain rate, under a certain mile, uh, still has to be a minimum. And the minimum for me is like 600, 700 a day. Charge them for your whole 14 hour clock. Like, you know, you're using, giving you my 14 hour clock, so I'm gonna be at, the, you know, 
know, you're still gonna use up seven, eight hours of my of my time. So here we go. I can't turn it. So I still gotta get paid for that. Just like if uh, you know, it just makes sense. But I might suck it up and take something if it's you know nine thousand pounds. If it's something cheap, I'll do you know. I'll take a little cheap $2 mile run just to get out there and then hopefully I can book something for a good price coming back. Because I know the loads are out there. They're paying, you know, if I can get a load for $4 a mile going in that same lane, that means that there's money out there that we're leaving on the table. So if I'm taking them for 500 bucks going up there, the broker is getting a thousand, and you're taking 500 because there's at least two, 15 and 2,000 in the pot that you're just leaving behind. But hey, whoa, sorry about that. But hey, uh, we just got to Niagara. I wish I, I need to use my other camera so I can uh, record me checking in and all that stuff. That's the fun. Know, but uh, I gotta jump on my app and get the uh, check in information. Keep it moving. Alright, guys. Alright, so we got here. Usually we just press a button up there and check in, but now they make you scan this code right here and type in the information, which is cool, I guess. We're gonna see what happens, and then they text you what door to go into, but I just don't know how the gate opens. So maybe they give me a number to press boop, 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 or they just open the gate. I have no idea, but we're about to make it happen, guys. See, I don't know. So I press this one. Usually I press that one, but we're going to see. Let's keep it going. All right, we're all checked in. That little barcode sends you to a website. You got to type in all the appointment info like the uh, appointment number and all that stuff and then and then they will uh text you a doctor well they didn't text me a doctor at first they told me that my appointment was at two um, about two and a half hours early and they told me to come back around my appointment time then I just text back to the same number that texted me that and I said, what's, what's, the, what's the soon as I can check in? And they're like, go to Doctor 40 and uh, you know, you can check in two hours before your expected arrival time. So they're nice enough. It was empty, like it's empty right now. Like usually Niagara, this is one truck in here. Usually they try to get you in and out. Were you here? They usually take you know no more than an hour, 45 minutes to an hour, uh, if that. But uh, I wish I can get these loads because they got them out there. Like you know they have four stops on one one trailer, but when you go through the broker, they try to pay you nothing. go to a broker they try to pay you nothing especially if you don't know the lane because some people they take this lane for too cheap and it makes it hard for me when I negotiate you know they put them on that board for like a hundred bucks hundred and some bucks and I know that there's way more money in there you know you're leaving 200 to almost three hundred dollars on the table when you're taking it for that cheap in this door. Alright. It took us a good 40 minutes to get loaded. We got our seal. We got our paperwork. We're going to go drop this trailer off. And go pick
picked up our other trailer. Well, not our trailer, but we're gonna go get the other trailer. And come back, get that one loaded. Then the fun starts. So we got two loads, we're just going a mile. Not even a mile. Well, I guess that's a mile. We're going just a mile up the road here. And we're doing that times two. So I know in the title I said $270 a mile load. It's really that times two. So we're doing two miles for about almost 600 bucks. So that's the way we like it right there. This trip right here is gonna get our week started. We're gonna see how it goes. Let's go drop this trailer. Looks like we're gonna make some good time. There's only two people online right now, which is awesome. There we go, we just dropped our trailer. We're gonna see if we can, uh, see this place opens in like five hours. So we can uh, go pick up this other trailer get in that line right here and be the third person in that'd be awesome or the first fourth person third fourth fifth the sooner we get in there the faster they uh we get out of there because early in the morning right when they open up they knock them out bang 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 so we can get both of these loads done within two to three hours. Make it back to the house before the kids go to school. That'd be awesome. So let's head back over to the night. Nice. Picking up Jay's trailer. Even though we're not going far, so still like doing a walk around. Checking the tires, make sure there's no uh, Make sure the air is still in there and all that good stuff. But yeah. This is her. Let's get this checked out and go pick up that second load. Well, dang. That one took a little longer than the first one. It took me about like an hour and 20 minutes to get out of there. It took me a nice little power nap. Both of these loads, delivery times are at the same time. So my plan is to get this one unloaded and I can drive, drop it off and then go pick up my trailer, get that one un unloaded and then we'll be done. So I'm thinking I should be down by 11, no later than 12. This load is heavy. Like, there's no way I can do this load for 500 bucks heading to uh, California. I'll be killing my truck. Not saying she can't do it, but uh, man, I beat up my engine. But hey, enough of the nonsense. Let's get this load done, babe. Let's do it. All right, we 
checked in. Our two hour nap is done with. So I'm gonna do something I haven't done before here. There's a new person working at the gate. So I'm gonna try to just to drop this one off at this dock door and run and pick up the other trailer and come in. Uh, last time, I asked the lady at the door, you know, let her know, hey, I got another uh, load to bring in. Blase, blase, but they put me in the same door, so I'm gonna have to drop the trailer, go pick up the other trailer, bring it in, rehook up to the trailer that I brought in, move that one out the way, drop that one, hook back up to the other one, and all that stuff, but it just takes forever. Oh, dang it, sit door 12. Way off. So, I'm just gonna go drop this and go pick up the other trailer and check in, and hopefully, uh, I'm gonna have both trailers at the door. So, let's see how that works. Let's see if they say anything to the dirty one show, man. I don't know why. It looks dirtier in the camera when I'm looking at the camera lens. Let's see if they open the gate and just let me out. Hopefully I'll pick up fast enough. By the time that one gets unloaded, this second one will be right behind it, and I can take that, take Jay's trailer and go drop it back off, and then come back and pick up my trailer. So it looks like we're gonna have a lumper fee. Last couple of times I did this, it was through a different company, and they they prepaid lumper. Uh, I'm going to have to pay the lumper. I put in a request for uh, a lumper fee. So. Find out. That's that trailer right over there. Turn around right here and just bag it. Truck wash, at least a wind windshield wash. All right, well, I'm gonna hook up to this trailer, get back to you. And voila, just like that, we're back in line with our second trailer. 
gonna see if they say anything. Alright. Let's see what happens. Thank you. All right, he said exactly what I wanted to hear, baby. Door nine. Makes it there's no use of me telling them, hey, you know, I'm trying to bring in another trailer and drop it off, or I got this, whatever. Just do it. And if it's something they don't allow, they will let me know. But I'm not gonna, I'm not doing nothing wrong. So why ask all these questions? They make it so much harder when I'm dropping it at the same door. The only way I would want to do that if is if uh, all the doors were already full and there's people waiting on some doors and then, you know, I wouldn't mind using the same door because that would be actually helping me out. We're going to drop this bad boy in door nine and, oh, our other trailer is getting unloaded right now. Still got that red light. Good thing about this, I don't have to slide my tandems. I get out and open my door just because. paperwork both trailers are ready see that they're waiting over there for a door so I'm gonna move my trailers out the way and give them a door it's first come first serve here so I was here before them I don't want nobody saying oh you taking up the time in their space I was here way before these guys about like seven uh, not seven hours it was eight o'clock I got here like at uh two in the morning so I've been here for a while but if uh, I didn't get both trailers in here I would have had to 
take this trailer out and then get the other trailer and pull on the door and wait another hour or two before they get done. So now we just got to drop Jay's trailer off, come back, pick up our trailer and we're done. So it might be, might make it home in time to uh, drop Kingston off and you know, we made a decent profit today. We we uh, profited more than what we would have profited if we would have went took a load from Vegas to uh, California just to get out of Vegas. So let's get her going. Yeah, buddy. Picking up our trailer. We dropped off Jay's trailer, and we are done for the day. Well, if you guys made it this far, if you can uh, write. A comment leave a comment saying thanks Jay in the comment section because without Jay we would have been here for a long time if he didn't let us use this trailer um, so that's awesome Th thank you Jay everybody thank Jay down there and uh, leave that thumbs up if you're not subscribed oh he's getting it in over here if you're not subscribed subscribe to the channel help the channel grow and if you like the channel, hit that bell so you can get uh, notified, you know. Hey, until next time, guys, we up out of here. He made it back home. He didn't have school today, teacher conference, so I get to hang out with my buddy while I look for a load for tomorrow or late tonight. All right, guys, much love, peace out. Just rolling truck, and what's going on, man?